Hi, my name is Mary from Chris's Coffee Service. Today we're going to review the Vitrano 2B by Quick Mill. Look at the refined fit and finish that this machine displays. On the face of the machine, there are side vents for air circulation, plus has LED lights that can be displayed. A power switch located at the bottom of the machine enables you to turn them on or off. The machine comes with an adjustable feet with rubber pads on the bottom to protect your counters. The side panels and back panel can be easily removed with just a Phillips head screwdriver and a small adjustable wrench. Note, all the screws are stainless steel and the same size. No confusion when reassembling which screws go where. The Trano 2B comes with an E61 lever action group. The E61 group has been around for many years and is known for making great espresso. Its mass and auto pre-infusion has given its temperature, stability, and tremendous extraction since 1961. Also included with this machine is the soft group gasket. Note how easy it is to lock the pour filter in place with a blank and there are no leaks. Vitrano 2B has a dual PID controller. The first part of the controller operates the group boiler while the second part operates the steam boiler. The PID display toggles back and forth between the two boiler temperatures. There is no mechanical pressure stat to fail with the Vitrano 2B. You cannot set the steam boiler pressure too high. It has a range limit. Group temperatures can be adjusted in one degree Fahrenheit increments. The PID also has a programmable offset differential, which simply means the temperature you can set on the PID is the temperature of the water delivered at the group and not the temperature inside the boiler. The Vitrano 2B is capable of operating either in 110 volt, 15 amp, or 20 amps. The machine is imported to us set at 20 amp operation with a 20 amp cord and plug attached. When the machine is used in 20 amp mode, both boilers can operate at the same time. If you want 15 amp operation, you simply go into the software of the PID to change the 15 amp mode. But remember, you will need to use the adapter cord to plug the machine into a 15 amp receptacle. A cup warmer to heat your cups with an access lid to the reservoir. Two power switches on the face of the machine. One is the main power switch. The other turns the steam boiler on. If you wish to only make espresso shots, you can leave the steam boiler off to conserve on energy cost. The two green lights will light up showing the power is on to that boiler. The amber lights will flash indicating the heater is turning on and off in that boiler. The dual manometer will give you both the steam boiler pressure and the pump pressure. Nice large capacity stainless steel drip tray with an optional drain connection. Simply remove the plug from the drip tray and connect the drain hose that is included. No burn articulating steam and hot water arms. The steam arm has a four hole tip with 0.9 millimeter holes to produce great microfoam, plus nice custom steam and hot water knobs with non-compression valves. Now let's take a look inside. 1.4 liter insulated copper steam boiler with a 1100 watt heater. 0.75 liter insulated group boiler with an 800 watt heater. Resettable high limit on both boilers to protect the heating elements. Rotary pump and motor, which is positioned with the motor on top. If in the event your pump develops a leak, it would not run into the motor, possibly causing damage. In addition, the motor is mounted on a nice soft anti-vibration mount. This prevents vibration from being transferred to the body of the machine, which can make a machine noisy. The rotary pump can easily be adjusted through the access port on the side of the machine. G-card control board, 
recognized as the best. Parker solenoid valves, also known for quality. Three liter plastic water reservoir with a float sensor for low water cutoff. When the water runs low, the power to the heater is cut off so that you cannot burn it out. Have a look at the base of the Vitrano 2B. In most reviews, people don't talk about the underside of a machine. I think it's worth mentioning. It's all stainless steel and has easily removable access panels. With the panels removed, you can access to both heating elements. No need to remove the boiler if you ever have to replace a heating element. There is also a drain for each boiler. Should you ever need or want to drain the boilers, it is easy. Also located under the machine is the fitting for the water connection, should you choose to plumb the machine in. A braided stainless steel water line is included. Here is the location of the toggle switch to go from direct plumb to manual fill. The machine includes two very nicely designed portafilters, single and double insert baskets, braided water line, and drain hose, plus a stainless steel backwash disc. Now let's make an espresso and steam some milk. 